Hello, so I wanted to do a quick video with you guys today. We're going to call it scars, lumps, and puffiness. Uh, so this is kind of a common theme that we talk about with many of the plastic surgeries, or really all the plastic surgical procedures that we do. Um, and so kind of give you a little uh, explanation of the process through that. So first, let's talk about scars. So obviously scars are necessary. They're the way our bodies heal. Uh, so there's no way around that. Uh, scars are good. If they didn't happen, we wouldn't stick back together. Um, obviously, as plastic surgeons, we do everything we can to make those look really, really good. Um, unfortunately, a lot of it's just up to your body, which neither you nor I have any control over. It's kind of genetics and skin pigmentation and all of that that, um, that affects that. But there are some things we can do to help with that, so we'll talk about that. So generally in scars, obviously at first, it's going to look really fine and kind of uh, quite good actually. Uh, but you should expect with any surgery that you have, as the weeks go on, it's actually going to look a little worse before it looks better. So around six to eight weeks is the worst phase of scarring. That's when the scar is a little more raised and rope-like, and it's usually redder. The redness comes from vessels growing into the scar tissue that's actually healing it and making it kind of mature and grow and improve. So that's all very normal. Uh, you'll have degrees of that for months, really, as it continues to heal. And as it goes through that process, it'll get better and better and better. A scar takes even up to two years uh, to fully mature and heal. So just kind of expect that. Um, that it's going to keep getting better and better as you uh, go through that time. Some things you can do to help with it, sometimes massaging it does help smooth it out a little bit more and kind of speed that process. It should generally get there on its own, but it can uh, kind of speed that along. Uh, we do recommend uh, some, some type of scar management, and that kind of varies depending on what you're doing. If you had just a little breast augmentation, tiny little incision, the impotence to do that may not be that large, but with something obviously like a tummy tuck or a mastopexy or breast reduction, much more important. Uh, one of the things that we sell that I think does work quite well, we've been using it for a number of years now, it's called Biocornium. It's a silicone gel. Uh, you use it once to twice a day for two to three months. So that's something you can do. Or there's other types and brands you can get online is fine as well. You can also use Scar Tape. It's a silicone sheeting. Uh, one of the brands is Scar Away. You can just even order that on Amazon. Uh, same kind of thing. You use that uh, for uh, about um, two to three months. Beyond that, totally fine to use those products. Probably not going to help a lot, so it might be a waste of your time and money, uh, but those kind of things will help. Um, the other big thing is avoidance of sun exposure. So for up to two years, I'd be super, super cautious about how much sun that scar is getting. So if you're at the beach or at the lake and you've got your bathing suit on, even if your bathing suit covers it, put sunscreen on very, very heavy and repeatedly throughout the day, and that will keep the scar from darkening. And so those are kind of the keys. Uh, to remember with a scar uh, for any procedure that you have. Uh, so the next thing are lumps and bumps. So with uh, any surgery, especially things like tummy tucks or liposuction, but even things like facelifts and things like that, uh, you may notice, not right at first, but as time goes on and then throughout your healing process, even for a few months, you may notice some lumpiness or firm spots. I kind of describe it a lot of times as like a lump of plastic under your skin. Uh, that's scar tissue. So just like you heal on the outside with scars, you heal on the inside with scars as well. And that scar at first is very immature underneath there, so it's firm and nodular. So with time, that's gonna smooth all out, but you can once again speed that up a little bit by massaging it, and that tends to help with that a little bit. Otherwise, just time is gonna take care of that. The other thing is puffiness. So obviously with any surgery, we traumatize the tissue, we cut a lot of blood vessels, a lot of lymphatics that carries the fluid in the body, and so that fluid can't get out as well as it used to, especially things like a tummy tuck, for instance. We make a big incision here. Think of that incision like a dam. And that fluid that used to, fluid and blood, used to travel through channels or vessels, both up and down, deep, from all different directions. Well, when we do a tummy tuck, for instance, we cut all those except for the ones up here. So that fluid can't go anywhere but travel backwards and against gravity up. So because of that, the tissue swells. Through months of healing, your body will create new lymphatic channels and new blood vessels and fix that problem. But in the interim, you're going to have swelling that occurs. And at first, it'll be very noticeable. You're just all swollen. But then with time, it'll get less and less. And you'll notice you have like a little, for instance, with the tummy tuck, a little puffiness, kind of a little roll over the incision. Then you'll wake up one day and go, oh, sweet, I'm better. It's gone. And then you'll wake up the next day and it's all back. So that's all very, very normal. It'll increase with activity. It'll increase each day as the day goes on. You'll look pretty good in the morning, look worse at night. That's all real normal. You may see it in the breast for a few months, like say after a breast reduction or a mastopexy, the breast will look more boxy rather than round. 
and then that's off from swelling once again, and then that'll start to round out again. You'll see it a little bit in the face as, as swelling changes position. So that's a common thing to expect all with healing and through that process as well. So it's definitely a process, truly takes about up to two years. You'll see lots of it occur and improve over about a six month period with all those things we talked about. But those are kind of the key things that, that everyone always asks about. And so hopefully that'll give you some information uh, to let you know what to do and put your mind at ease when you do see those things. So hopefully that helps.